As the open period is upon us, I catch up with our room and business manager, Brian Hart, to discuss how to maximize your slurry usage and fertilizer application this spring. In early spring, ground temperatures need to be six degrees and above for the plant to effectively uptake nutrients. Be mindful of ground conditions at this time and do not spread slurry when there is rain within the forecast of 48 hours. Early application on the farm will be determined by soil indexes and your nutrient management plan will indicate the most effective use of slurry for your P and K requirements around the farm. Typically, silage ground can have a low P and K indexes and this is where your slurry can be often most effectively used. Aim to use slurry to replace chemical fertilizer early in the spring. By using a low emission slurry spreading system and spreading 2,500 gallons per acre, it will give approximately 22.5 units of nitrogen, 12.5 units of phosphorus and 80 units of potash per acre. A low emission slurry spreading system at this time in the spring will give greater flexibility for slurry spreading as it allows you to spread on covers up to 1000 kilograms of dry matter per hectare versus 500 kilograms using a splash plate. Depending on soil indexes and the use of the ground, this will vary greatly. For example, on a grazing platform with adequate P and K levels and it has received slurry, the use of protected urea is probably the best choice here. Compounds such as 18612 or 27255 would be adequate on ground that has not received slurry or on ground where P and K indexes need to be built up or maintained. This will vary greatly depending on the P and K indexes and the use of the ground. For example, on a grazing platform with adequate P and K levels and that has received slurry, the use of protected urea is most likely the best choice here. Protected urea is currently cheaper than net nitrate on a cost per kilo of nitrogen basis. It is also safer than granular urea as it reduces ammonia and nitrous oxide emissions. As part of the Nutrient Management Plan and the Gain and Rent Program, you will see that there is a recommendation for the use of sulfur and fertilizer. Sulfur is an essential nutrient for grass growth and is closely linked to nitrogen uptake and efficiency within the plant. Even when P and K indexes are adequate, a sulfur deficiency will impact on grass growth and quality. As mentioned, soil temperature needs to be 6 degrees and above for efficient uptake of nutrients within the plant. Aim to apply fertilizer on drier parts of the farm first, as wetter parts of the farm can be slower to warm up and will be more prone to leaching. The faster the grass growth, the greater and more immediate response there will be to fertilizer. Avoid putting fertilizer on bare paddocks as this will not be effectively taken up. You should aim to put fertilizer on paddocks with a moderate grass cover with a growth rate of 10 kg per dry matter and greater. Having the correct soil pH is essential for the effective uptake of nutrients within the plant. As you can see from this table in the Gain Momentum Program brochure, as the level of soil pH drops, nutrient availability dramatically reduces. For more information, please contact your local Glambie Ireland representative, branch or visit glambieconnect.com.